Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the safety net test on your rooted Android 14 phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, let me show you, currently my phone is rooted via Magisk. So I've obtained root and likewise I'm on the latest Android 14 build. At the time of recording, it's of the October security patch update and it's the Android 14 version. Moreover, my phone is rooted via Magisk as I've shown you before. And you could verify the safety net test using the Yasnak app. So you could install the app from Play Store. So install it and as you could see it's the Android version 14. Then go online and just tap on run safety net test. So as soon as you do so you will see that my phone is failing both the test which is the basic integrity and the CDS profile match test. So your ultimate aim will be to pass both this test. So with that in mind let's get started. So as you could see, I have made two separate guides. So it's highly recommended that you only opt for the new guide. You could also try the old guide, but that's not recommended. So let's only keep our focus on the new one. So in that your first course of action is to hide the magic cap. So for that, you have to launch the magic cap, tap on the settings icon at the top right, and now tap on hide the magic cap, then give it any name of your choice. So for example, I am naming it to Dwightwin. So you could give it any name and tap on ok so with this the magic app name and the app icon will not be changed so let's just wait for a few seconds it's asking for add to home screen so let's tap on cancel it's completely optional and now let me show you the magic app so as you could see the magic app name has been changed to Dwardwin and the app icon has also been changed so with this this is our new magic app and we will now be using this app itself let me show you as well so this is our new magic app Anyways, moving on, you will now have to enable the systemless host module. So launch the Magisk app, then tap on the settings icon, then just tap on systemless host and the module will be added. Just a minute, just tap on it and the module has been added. Now go back and go to modules and verify the same. It should be enabled as well. So now moving on, you will now have to enable Zygisk. So go to the Magisk home screen and Currently, as you could see, it's saying as no next to Zygisk. So tap on the settings icon, then enable the toggle next to Zygisk and it will now ask you to do a restart. We will not do a restart now. We will do a restart after the next step. So it will save us some time. So once you have enabled the toggle next to Zygisk, let's move on with the next step. And now we'll have to flash the safety net text module. So as of now, I have listed two modules. It's highly recommended that for Android 14, you go with this module. I have tried the second module, but it's not working with Android 14. So I am re repeating again, please opt for this module as of now. It is the version 2.3.1 and it's currently working on Android 14. So download this module and then place the module onto your phone. Once you have got this module onto your phone, let's now flash it. So go to the module section of Magisk, tap on install from storage. And now let's select this module so choose this module and then tap on ok just a minute choose the module and as you could see it's version 2.3.1 so tap on ok and the module will now be flashed once the flashing is done you could now tap on reboot so with this we have saved the time we haven't done the reboot after enabling Zygisk because we also had to flash the module so after flashing the module we have done a restart and now the module will be enabled as well and the Zygisk should also be enabled We'll also verify the same. So it will take only a few seconds to boot up. Let's just wait and then we'll move ahead and verify the same. So as of now, the safety net text module as well as the systemless host module should both be up and running onto our phone. So let's just wait for the time frame and then I'll verify. So let me launch the Magisk app. And then let's go to the module section. And as you can see, both the modules are now up and running. Likewise, the Zygisk has also been enabled. So we could now move ahead with the next step. So now you will have to configure the Magisk deny list. For that, go to the settings icon. And from there, it's the Magisk settings. So go to the Magisk settings. And now you have to enable the toggle next to enforce deny list. Now tap on configure deny list. And now you'll have to hide the apps. Hide the root from the following four apps. 
in some phones the fourth app might not be there the google play protect service might not be there on some phones that are completely normal if it's there on your phone then you have to hide the root from that as well if it's not there then you will you don't have to hide so these three apps are compulsory and you have to hide the root from the fourth app if it's there from your phone and after that you will also have to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice so let's now carry out this task so once you are in the denial this section tap on the overflow icon and check mark show system app so let's now search for the place type in play and or rather let's type in google play so with this we have got a few apps so first off let's do so for google play protect service so as you could see it's there on my phone so i'll hide the root from that so simply expand the required app and check mark the box it will automatically enable all the its services then we have the google play service let's do that as well then we have the google play store let's do that as well so in my case only one app is remaining which is the google play service so that is also done google service framework is also done so, okay that is remaining so now i have to hide the root from google services framework let me do that as well so it will only take a few seconds just a minute so so this is the app let's do that as well so as of now you will have to hide the root from the following four apps and after that you could hide the root from the desired banking and payments app of your choice but these four apps are compulsory so make sure you hide the root from these four apps once that is done let's just verify the same once again so type in play and hit a space so play protect service google play services play store and the services framework so let's verify the same so all the four apps are done once you have hide the root from these apps you will now have to remove the data of these apps as well so let's now carry out these task so go to the settings menu then go to apps see all apps and now you have to check mark or rather tap on the overflow icon and select show system now remove the data of from all the apps from which you have hide the root in my case the, these are the four apps so let's now remove the data of all these apps and after that we, you, you will also have to remove the data from the banking and payment app from which you have hide the root so let's first remove the data of these apps so let me search for play services so let's go for play services then storage and cache clear storage clear all data delete after that you will have to let's go for play store storage and cache clear storage delete then play protect service storage and cache clear storage delete and now it's the service framework so let's search for the service framework app as well so let's remove the data of this app as well and once you have removed the data of all these apps you will now have to remove the data from the banking and payments app so do that as well just make sure that the number of apps from which you have hide the root over here should be the same from which the data are being removed so all the apps from which you have hide the root you have to remove the data of all those apps once you have done so you will now have to do a restart do keep in mind that this restart is compulsory until and unless you do a restart you cannot move ahead so let's now do a restart and then we will check out the result yes this was the last step we will now check out the result and as of now hopefully both the test should now be passing on to our phone and yes do keep in mind that you while you are carrying out this task in some cases the boot up might take up some additional time frame which is completely normal and nothing to worry about and apart from that there is also a ui bug so let me show you a bug which is in the magisk app as of now so while you are, are carrying out this task after you have hide the root from the following apps let me show you once you have hide the root from the following four apps and then if you launch the magisk app and go to the settings menu and now if you go to the deny list you might see that the google service framework is unchecked and the google play service is missing from this list do note that this is just a ui bug in the backend everything is working well and good 
it's just that in the front end it's just a ui bug and you should don't have to worry about that so simply ignore this bug so with that said let's now verify the result of our test so enable wi-fi or data and then launch the yasnac app then tap on run 15 at the station and let's now test out the result so as you could see we are now passing both the basic integrity and cds profile match test and the evaluation type is also basic so you could now easily use all the banking and payments app of your choice you could play games like pokemon go you could watch drm content videos in full hd in 1080 quality and carry out all those tasks which was earlier not possible so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching